middle of something. Yeah, what's going on? This is Mel Love, Link to Link, the movement you want to move with, and the original Mel Love, you know what I mean? Straight from Harlem, alright? I gave Biggie Smalls his name, Notorious, No Two R I, oh, us, when I used to work at Uptown MCA, alright, with Andre Harrell, Kirk Burroughs, Puff Daddy, alright, y'all know him as Sean Puffy Combs, alright? I've been around for a very long time. I work with a lot of artists, you know, manage groups like Aaron Hall, G Depp, Black Rob, you know what I mean? Just to name a few, you know, all through the studios and all that, you know what I mean? But I'm out here because my man, Harlem Mad Dad, aka Mr. Stash, brought me out, you know what I mean? He's the only one that really can get me out to come out to things like this, you know? You <laughs> see this building right here? We started out here, you know what I mean? Neighborhood Manhattan Cape um, Manhattan Neighborhood Network. If y'all don't know, y'all gonna learn today. Follow the Flavor TV show. We started that in 1990. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, along with a good friend of ours, Sean Blacks, Blacks a Million, Hell Crystal Lake Records, us, the Triangle. You know what I mean? Before y'all even know about that Triangle shit and all that Illuminati bullshit Bro. that y'all niggas is on. <laughs> we was the first ones to do all that shit, playing everybody's videos from Easy e like, You know what I mean? Exactly. Side. It was always positive. We always keep it positive. You know what I mean? Easy e called me on the phone, was like, yo, Mel Love, I want to have my group, Holes with Attitudes, HWA, and Bone Thugs and Harmony come down to the club with y'all in New York. I'm like, sure, fam, come through. I got a lot of connections, a lot of places, you know what I mean? That's why we link the link, the movement you want to move with. Mr. Stash, Cheer -cheer. you know, been with me <laughs> for a long time, you know what I mean? From the hood, yay high, you know what I mean? All that, but we just said, you know what I mean? All positivity, we just did a uh, shoot at the Manhattan Neighborhood Network with Sid Locks, you know what I mean? Thank you for having us a part of your show also. Keep on going, family, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, let me Go ask you a question. Um, for those that don't know, and I'm hearing a lot of names that you drop, and I heard Notorious Big, I heard Aaron Hall, I heard Easy E. so I just want to know just, like, how long how long have you been in the game? And also, I heard you also said you gave Notorious B.I.G. his name. That's right. kind of big, so right. if you want to elaborate on it, I don't know if you want to elaborate on yeah, it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I gave Biggie Smalls his name. I was coming in from school. I was going to Julia Richmond High School at the time. I was working for Kirk Burroughs and uh, Puff Daddy, you know? at Uptown MCA with Andre Harrell. I came in and they said, listen, we cannot put out Biggie's um, record because he's about to get sued by the other Biggie Smalls and Cali, you know what I mean? So I'm like, wow. So we had to sit in the conference room, you know, it was me, Sybil, uh, Q, Jesse West, you know, just to name a few people that was in, you know, Third Eye, big shout outs, you know, just to name a few people that was in the conference room with us. You know, uh, Kim Porter, she was the secretary at the time, which is Puffy's baby mother and all that. You know, um, they said, listen, y'all got to come up with some names. So write down the names and then we're going to all pick and choose what names everybody come up with collectively. So everybody was writing down their names and everything. Me, you know, I'm, I'm very spiritual and I get technical with the names and everything like that. So I came up with a saying as well as the name. When I gave them the name, Kirk Burroughs, they folded it up, took it to Puff. After that, he came back in, Puff walked in, tapped me on the back and was like, thanks Mel, walked out. Next thing you know, I heard him screaming in his office, jumping for joy, talking about we got it. So they picked the name that I gave to him, which was Notorious. No two are I, O, us. And the reason why I say O, oh, because I was talking to God at the time, you know what I mean? out a perfect name for Biggie Smalls, you know what I mean? Because Biggie was my friend and he was cool as hell, he was a given person, plus I thought he just was notorious in all his shit, you know what I mean? And behind the scenes, you know, I really helped that man get signed at Uptown MCA because he was scared to shit, you know what I mean? To go talk to Puffy when Mark Pitts brung him in, you know what I mean? Came in with a white t-shirt on, dripping fucking pizza and shit like that on the shirt and all that, but we talked and I told him just go in there and let him know you was the fucking king of New York and that you like the way he was talking to me. He reminded me of a preacher and I had him rap for me and everything like that before he even stepped in there with Puff. So, you know, for me, I told him go in there like a preacher, like you a pastor, you talking to the congregation. You know what I mean? And that's what made me give him that name Notorious when I was talking to God saying this man deserves the righteous name that's going to fit him and make him the king of New York. And for this day, he's still the king of New York. He told stories. He, he did what he had to do. And I just like to say, you know, 
uh, Rest in Power, Biggie Smalls, you know what I mean? What about the connection with Easy E? How was that? Like, how was he? Was he a cool brother? Like, oh, a lot of, a lot of people. He was cool as hell, you know what I mean? They used to come to New York all the time when I used to throw little parties at Club Speed, him, Snoop Dogg, um, well, hoes with attitude. Oh, yeah. That's his first female group. First female know, group, you forgotten. know. He told me about Bone Lost Thugs and Harmony and all that, you know what I mean? So I told him to bring him through because I was popping club speed, you know? I used to have club speed all the time, throwing mad parties there, 50 Cent, man. all of them used to come through. Snoop Dogg, um, uh, what's up, Snoop Dogg's man um, that used to sing, God Rest the Dead to him too. Um, Nate Dogg, Nate Dogg, uh, Aaliyah used to come through, Q-Tip, all of them. And a uh, little something about Q-Tip, you know what I mean? Like. I saved that nigga's life, you know what I mean? When I grabbed the pipe out of Tupac's hand at the first Sauce Awards when he was about to bust that nigga in the head for talking shit about that nigga on the radio. See, a lot of people don't understand who's behind the scenes and who helped people elevate and who stopped a lot of shit from happening. The Mel Love Link the Link was a part of all them niggas' careers. Puffy, all them niggas know that. Heavy D, God bless the dead, all them niggas know. Jay-Z, big shout outs to Jay-Z and all that. Club S.O.'s with Maria Davis. Come on, I I've been around and I've been um, a part of this history which they try to write me out of because I know too much and I've been Say around. Say like twice, man. I'll kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill, <laughs> Right, 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 right. So, you know what I mean? Uh, Q-Tip, I know you running around the radio talking, talking about you made amends with Tupac and all that. Y'all niggas better stop fucking lying, for real. I'm just keeping it real. I'm telling the truth about a lot of shit that's going on in the industry, and I'm just tired of the bullshit. I'm here to tell the truth. Mel love the truth. The movement you want to move with is link to link. And if anybody got a problem, y'all know y'all can hit me up at 201-282-7634. All this foolish shit that's going on in the industry, all these motherfuckers faking jacks and talking shit i'm tired of it if y'all niggas got anything to say y'all call me and we can settle it you know i'm the type of nigga that'll knock at your door come up on your hood and all that i ain't with all that foolish uh foolish bullshit you know what i mean i'm just tired of a lot of bullshit that's going on a lot of niggas is fake out here i'm tired of that shit so you know i keep it moving with my team my old team is eating you know what i mean doing what the fuck they gotta do and a lot of my people's Link the Link is a part of y'all niggas that's still living and still doing what y'all doing, moving and shaking. So watch your fucking mouth because all that pillow talk y'all niggas is talking, I hear a lot of shit. And when I come up to y'all and I approach y'all, don't say, oh, I, don't, I didn't do it or I didn't say this to this nigga, this nigga didn't say it. I'm just going to punch you in your fucking mouth or smack the shit out you with an open hand. You see that? Open hand, nigga. Because I'll take it back to the basics, where I'm from. Y'all niggas know my pedigree, so stop fucking playing, all right? And yo, that puff nigga, you know what I mean? On some real shit, um, you need to call me. You know what I mean? Check in with the fam. You know what I mean? Because I called out to you, you didn't call me yet. Oh, you got this Meek Mills nigga and the other Mel Love running around Philly trying to use my name and trying to snatch my legacy from me. Y'all niggas got some fucking nerve with that bullshit. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas call me. Meek Mills already stole some of the lyrics off of my song Danger and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm getting paid. I get a check from BMI and all that. Thank you for the check and all that. But at the end of the day, if y'all niggas want niggas to write for, um, for y'all, produce some music for y'all, all y'all niggas got to do is pick up the phone and fucking call me. That's it. That's all y'all got to do. Now y'all see me running around from radio stations and shit like that Y'all niggas trying to block me, there's no blocking I'm coming to y'all and I'm letting y'all know the real shit That's it, so if y'all, any one of y'all niggas I don't give a fuck about the street shit, the corporate shit None of that shit, you know what I mean? I got a family like y'all niggas got a family If y'all wanna handle this shit like men, let's handle this shit Other than that, get the fuck out of here and stay the fuck out my path Because if y'all niggas trying to stop me from eating Or stop this food from coming in and this money from coming in Then y'all gonna see me that's it at the end of the day. 201 282 right, man. This is a good to guy. Say. You ain't got to take. He's generous. I've he been giving to y'all niggas. I've been you know giving y'all niggas and y'all still living off work, my legacy. You can see nigga. the backhand. You can see the forehand. Right? <laughs> Godspeed all day, link to link. Just to get on a different note, you know what I mean? Because I always move in positivity. Yo, yo at say the, end of the, day say the name well. of the song that y'all was performing tonight. Oh, it's called Mumble Rap. You know what I mean? Do it yourself. How did y'all come you up with that? You know, how did y'all come up with the? I was you know? in the studio. I was um sipping on that Hennessy. You know what I mean? And it just I just went in the booth and told Mad Dad to come in the booth with me real quick. And we went in the booth and I was just playing around, honestly. You know what I mean? And you know, shit just around. came out. You know what I mean? The way it is, do it yourself. You know what I mean? You said you do it better than me, then do it yourself. You know what I mean? 
It's all Start good. making all y'all do it yourself. Do it yourself. I've been doing it myself. I've been independent all these years, all this time. Um, I'm not trying to be a slave to these labels, trying to get you and make you fucking work for them for nothing. You know what I mean? I'm not doing none of that shit. 100% come straight to me. You know what I mean? I'm out here. I'm producing. I'm writing. I'm fucking singing. I'm rapping. I'm, I'm doing everything. Marketing campaigns. Y'all niggas know what I do. So at the end of the day, shooting videos, movies, all types of shit. You know? So ain't no stopping me now. We on the go. No, 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 no. Link them. Link the link, follow the flavor, the movement you want to move with. You want to hit me up, 201-282-7634, or just hit me up at link the link, bookings at gmail.com. If you want to get in contact with my manager, just hit her up at 914-720-1881. You know, we come out, we do all your parties and all that shit, you know what I mean? Uh, you want your shit taped and all that, we Yo. come out there, we do what we got to do, and we make you look good. At the end of the day, if you're an upcoming artist, and you really want to get a record deal and you really want distribution behind you, Link the Link got you. Just call. That's it. And I don't hold nothing back and I don't try to fuck nobody over with none of they shit. A lot of these shows we go to, niggas turn my music down and all that, straight hating. But I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, you're going to listen to something in the song and you're going to be like, yo, that shit was hot no matter what. If that shit was playing through a fucking headphone or if I was just mumbling that shit, you're going to love it. Like you're gonna love me. Keep it going. Link the link, the movement you wanna move with. Cheer.